Uh, I have been provided an uh, opening statement by the um, video reporting service. I'll just read it into the record. and We're going on record. It is approximately 11.06 by my watch on November 14th, 1997. We're located at the Vets Hall in a uh, private room on Grand Avenue in San Luis Obispo. This is a videotaped deposition of uh, Paul Flores, the defendant in Smart versus Flores, San Luis Obispo Superior Court case. My name is James R. Murphy, Jr. I am an attorney with James R. Murphy, Jr., a law corporation. The court reporter is uh, Catherine Kaplanik, certified court reporter. And um, with Mr. Coates is in attendance, as he was at the prior deposition, uh, and uh, I see that Mr. Melvin Delamotte is present, um, uh, apparently representing uh, Mr. Flores to advise him on uh, certain uh, Fifth Amendment issues, is my understanding. Um, anybody wish to? I wanted to make a record that we had been taking the deposition of Ruben Flores and to accommodate uh, Mr. Delamont and Mr. Flores' uh, time constraints, we have interrupted his deposition and the reporter has now set up. So we're going to basically make a record that we interrupted Ruben's by placing that record on um, the Paul Flores deposition record. Does that sound reasonable? That's correct. All right, um, uh, Mr. Delamont, um, do you wish to um, place anything on the record prior to the commencement of the deposition, sir? Uh, I want to state for the record that, uh, so that it's clear as, uh, as you begin, that uh, other than confirming uh, Paul Flores' name, he does not intend to answer any questions and, on my advice, will invoke the Fifth Amendment on all questions. Okay. Um, my office has done some research and, uh, into this matter, and it's my understanding that California law requires that privilege must be asserted as to specific questions, that a blanket refusal to testify is inappropriate and illegal. The citation for the record is Warford, W-A-R-F-R-D versus Medeiros, M-E-D-E-I-R-O-S, 160 Calap 3rd, 1045. And um, obviously, um, if the position that you will instruct your client to take is that other than answering his, uh, that his name is Paul Ruben Flores and nothing further, then we'll have a little problem here. And I think what uh, there's uh, obviously going to be uh, some type of appropriate remedy sought. So let me uh, ask at this time that the witness be sworn. Yes. Uh, would you state your full name for the record, please? Paul Ruben Flores. And what is your date of birth, sir? 10 76 uh, Your social security number? What is your president, uh, present residence address? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. All right. Um, the, um, it's my understanding, uh, let, me, let me go forward and uh, provide some admonitions so we make a record. Um, uh, first of all, the uh, lady sitting to your left is a court reporter who is empowered by California law to make a record of the proceedings. She types up on a transcript everything that is said by all the persons in this room. Uh, that compilation of information is placed into a booklet and is called a deposition transcript. Um, a, the deposition transcript is then prepared and is presented to you uh, for review and signature under penalty of perjury. If you make any significant changes in your uh, deposition testimony, I will be permitted at the trial of this lawsuit to comment upon any material changes possibly to your detriment or embarrassment. Do you understand that? Yes. Um, the, um, in addition, the oath that has been administered to you by the court reporter is the same oath.
that would be administered to you in a uh, court of law if, as if there were a judge present and attached to the oath process is the penalty of prosecution for perjury should you lie under oath. Do you understand that admonition yes. as to perjury? Um, and I want to ask you some questions. Are you under the influence of any medication which at this time would interfere with your ability to give clear and accurate testimony today? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Um, a deposition is a process by which I, as the attorney for the plaintiffs in the civil wrongful death action against you, am permitted to ask you certain questions. I do not want estimates. Uh, I want estimates when you answer questions and not guesses. Standard uh, analogy used to explain the difference between an estimate and a guess is if I were to ask you to estimate for me the size of this table, you could give me a reasonable estimate based upon your uh, ability to perceive things and you could tell me that you, this table was a certain number of feet wide and a certain number of feet long. If I were to ask you what was the size of the desk at my home office where I live, you, having never been there, could not give me an estimate. Do you understand the distant difference between an estimate and a guess? Yes. Um, what I uh, I'd like to ask you what documents you have reviewed in preparation uh, for your uh, deposition testimony here today. On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Have you uh, reviewed certain documents in preparation for your deposition testimony uh, here today? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Uh, for the record, I would indicate that the witness is repeatedly uh, looking at and having his attention directed by Mr. Delamotte to an eight and a half uh, inch by 11 inch piece of white paper with some black lettering which is upside down and I can't read it from here but I think I know what it says because the witness has read it into the record on a number of occasions. I would like that, I would ask that a copy of that document that the witness has been reviewing be attached as an exhibit to this deposition and incorporated into the record. Um, I would um, I'd like to ask you a series of questions. Um, you're, you're, you reported your Nissan truck stolen in San Diego recently, is that correct? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. The record should reflect that when I asked that question, Mr. Delamont uh, placed his finger upon the eight and a half by eleven piece of paper with the Fifth Amendment invocation. Uh, and the witness read it into the record. Um, I have, a, I think probably the best way to do this, uh, Mr. Delamotte, I'm not trying to be disrespectful of your position. I uh, know um, of you and your reputation in our legal community. Uh, nonetheless, I believe that the position that you are taking is clearly erroneous. I believe that it uh, is a violation of the rules of civil proceedings. I know that you have done some civil work but your instruction to your client uh, to refuse to answer even the most simple and basic question, including questions that have absolutely no tendency in fact or law to incriminate him, is, I believe, misplaced. Nonetheless, uh, if it is your position that Mr. Flores is not going to answer questions about his employment, his uh, matriculation into Cal Poly, who his friends are, his relationship with his family members, um, things that occurred in his life prior to the um, uh, date of the disappearance of Kristen Smart, vehicles that were available to him to use, things of that sort. Uh, perhaps I can cut to the chase and simply make a record as to the types of questions that I would be asked and we can just have the blanket invocation. I get your uh, position on that on the record, so when I go to a reviewing court, I have a clear and fair record. As I indicated, he plans to answer that he will invoke the Fifth Amendment on all your questions. If you have questions to direct to my client, go ahead and ask questions. 
Save the speeches for later. Just ask the question. Okay, well, Mr. Delamont, it's not a speech. It's a civil proceeding. If you're not going to ask uh, questions, we'll discontinue the deposition leave. No, you're no, here no, to no, take a deposition. No. If you want to ask questions, go no. ahead. I'm going to make a record of my position in this case, Mr. Delamont. You can make the record some other time. Ask the questions. That's what a deposition is for. Okay. Not to make a speech. You can make a speech to the court. You can do it in writing. You can do it orally. Mm -hmm. Ask the questions. We're here to answer the questions. We're required to do so. Ask the questions or we'll leave. All right, I'm going to make my record here. I've been advised that he's not going to answer the questions, so let's start asking the questions. Did you report uh, your 85 Nissan truck stolen in San Diego recently? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. In May of 96, were you a student at Cal Poly? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Uh, please provide me with the uh, employment positions that you have held since uh, you started high school. On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Are you presently employed? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Where do you presently reside? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Where did you attend high school? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. What is the name of your father? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. What is your mother's name? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. What is your sister's name? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Does your mother have a sister? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Uh, prior to moving to the Arroyo Grande area, where did you reside? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Um, were you employed at Garland's in Grover Beach at any time in your life? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Have you ever been employed uh, at a Union 76 station in the San Luis Obispo County area? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. What is the name of your, your supervisor, strike that, what was the name of your supervisor at Garland's? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. What were the nature of your job duties at Garland's? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Did you cook hamburgers at Garland's? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. How old are you? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Uh, and what year did you leave your Strike that. In what year did you cease being a student at Cal Poly? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Could you provide me with the names of the persons with whom you have discussed the uh, Kristen Smart case? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Were you arrested for uh, driving under the influence of alcohol in 1996? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Did you attend a party uh, at or near the Cal Poly campus in May of 1996? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question 
based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Can you provide me with the names of persons who were present at the party um, in May of 1996, the party that immediately preceded the disappearance of Kristen Smart? On the advice of my attorney, I refuse to answer that question based on the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. I think that um, I have made a sufficient record that the witness is uh, not going to answer any questions in connection with anything other than his name. Um, I have been advised by Mr. Delamont at the start of the deposition that the witness would not be answering any questions other than his name. The witness on advice of counsel is refusing to answer in any, any and all questions. I have approximately a thousand additional questions, but having had uh, no success in finding out whether or not he cooked hamburgers at Garland's, I'm going to uh, cease the questioning. I believe I've made a sufficient record to go to a court and seek appropriate relief. I want the record clear that I will be seeking sanctions uh, from Mr. Delamont, uh, from his law firm, and from Mr. Flores. Um, as a result of what I believe to be a bad faith uh, presentation of this witness and a wrongful assertion of the Fifth Amendment. Um, uh, at this time, I would propose the following stipulation that the uh, court reporter will prepare the original deposition and forward it to either Mr. Delamont or Mr. Coates to Mr. Delamont. Mr. Delamont will provide the uh, deposition transcript uh, to Mr. Flores. Uh, Mr. Flores will have an opportunity to review his deposition, make any changes, that at the conclusion of the process of review of the deposition, Mr. Flores will be given an opportunity to make any changes he wishes to make. Um, my office will be advised of the changes within 30 days of the making of those changes, that in the event the witness does not sign the deposition transcript under penalty of perjury, a copy, an unsigned copy could be used with the same force and effect as a signed copy, that um, the reporter would be relieved of her duties under the code. Do I have a stipulation? So agreed. I agree to that. I think that concludes the deposition. I agree to that. We are going off record now at 11.22. Um, can we go back on record? Mr. Delamont, may I just have on one on more record? second of your time so I can complete the record? The, um, the Mr. Delamont has before him uh, a file of materials which I have no idea whether or not Mr. Flores did or did not review those documents. I simply want the record to reflect that he does have a file here. The only document that I saw Mr. Flores look at in my presence was the admonition which is attached. Thank you. This is Betty Lamar, Thumbs Up Production. We are going off record at 11.23 a.m. on 11.14.